I'm in Boris in County Carlo today because I want to show you an animal ram. This is it. It was used in the time when there were still animal fairs in Boris, County Carlo. They still have a fair every 15th of August. I was just talking to a local resident who told me that. But back in the day when they sold sheep and cattle and all kinds of animals during the fair, they had these rams and people parked their trailer at the other end and the cattle or the sheep were driven up here. walked up into the trailer and off they went to their new home. And what's lovely about the one here in Barnes is that they actually put a trailer here to explain the whole thing. There isn't an information sign or anything, but they have the trailer here with these plastic, I presume, or wooden sheep to explain the whole situation. And I think that's a lovely idea. It's not the only one surviving in Ireland now. I know of another one which we will map after we've mapped this one here. Because, of course, I'm not showing you this just for fun, but because we're going to map this animal run. I wasn't actually the first to come up with this. I thought I could use the tag or the value animal ramp and I put it into tag info. And someone in Lübeck in northern Germany has mapped nine animal ramps with the key man-made. And I thought that's as good as anything. And they are, as you can see, they're all along rivers, streams, and they are for waterfowl, which is so cute, I think. There are images somewhere, I think, for one of them. It's gonna be the last one I click on, isn't it? Yes. So here we go. And they uploaded an image here. So you see how the city of Lübeck has made the shoreline or the, the water's edge so that it can erode into the river, which, you know, fair enough, you don't want that, but it, that makes it impossible, apparently, for waterfowl to get out of the water. So they had to build these little ramps for the duckies to get up and out of the water. Because I, I presume they can't fly, or maybe it's difficult for them to just start flying out of the water, so they have to be on solid ground to start flying and if they can't get out of the water any other way they have to have these little ramps. I thought that was so cute and I made a wiki page here where it's explained it's very simple it's just man-made equals animal ramp and then you can add the type of animal that it is used for if you know it. So in the waterfowl I would probably use animal equals waterfowl or something like that because I, I can't check if it's for swans and ducks and what have you. And the case that I have, it was for sheep. And sometimes it's for sheep and cattle maybe. And sometimes they might have them for horses as well. I haven't come across any because I'm not in the habit anymore to go to horse races. But they might have them there to load horses into the trailer. Would make sense. Might have to go and check out Goran or somewhere. Or ask someone who goes there regularly, but usually people don't pay attention to these things. And they might have also just replaced them because the trailers now come with their own ramp, as far as I know. And Wikimedia Commons, if you have taken images, and please do, and you've uploaded them to Wikimedia Commons, especially when there is some heritage involved, like in Boris, huge fair in Boris, 24 a year, I think I read. It can't quite be because it also said there aren't, there weren't any in April, but maybe there were months where they had more than two. Also, Ballinakill, which we will go to later, huge fair town, massive money made during the fair day. I haven't looked into the fair in Ballinakill, but people tell me it was massive, and you might find a, a Facebook group or something like that for leash heritage or the olden days in leash or something like that where you can find images i tried the photo collection on dukas.ie i couldn't find a single photograph there but i'm sure they do exist they might hang in the pub if there's any pubs surviving in Ballinakill. there are surely some surviving in boris sometimes pubs are a very good source for old photographs because they hang on the wall and they tell you the story of the town or the village 
So those are the tags we have to use and now we can go and map those to the one in Boris and the one in Bellinacil. So there we have Boris in County Carlow and the ramp is near the playground which used to be a tennis court I'm told. Here there's a stile that probably led into the tennis court. That's what Jim told me, the local resident. And here is the location of the animal ramp. Pound Lane is down here. And the pound was here, I think. If you want to watch the video about pounds, please do. They're often in a relation to the fair. And it is mentioned, the fair and the pound are mentioned in several instances in the school's collection. If you type in fair and Boris, and filter for County Carlo, because there's of course more than one Boris, you'll find lovely accounts of the fair. And it is here. It's not really that visible on the map, but since I was there today, I know. So I came in through this gate here. And it's kind of this area. So I'll draw the area here using the area tool. It might be a bit more. Well, it can't be square, it's trapezoid anyway. Something like this. And then it creates a tag area, yes, which we don't need. So we can overwrite that and type in man made animal not trap but ramp doesn't come up yet because not enough have been mapped but maybe by the time you add one there will be one maybe we do need area no we don't so it's it has the default man-made sign is this kind of a cylinder or something like that and I want to add animal Sheep. I'm not entirely sure if they used it for cattle as well or if they had some other way of transporting the cattle off. But Jim, who I was talking to, definitely said sheep fair and it was quite famous for its sheep fair as well. Which was also, which I have learned from the school's collection, on the 15th of August. And then I might add two more walls. In the intro I went up the middle so it's divided into three I don't know if that's just so the three trailers could be parked there or what the deal is one of the trailers is here and one is here I'm not quite sure if there's a way to map them so I'm just gonna not map them I think there's a way to map historic vehicles which they could classify as I might add that later on because every time I've gone through bars, I've seen them there, so they're quite a permanent structure. And then I can add the Wikimedia category. Okay, I haven't given it its own category, so I'm just gonna use this one here. I could have created one because there are two images now. And that would be enough for a category, but I'm just gonna use this file here. And there is another file showing it from the other side. So Wikimedia Commons and paste that there, including the file colon. And uh, that's all I can think of. We can't add a heritage tag because it is heritage, of course, but it's not in any heritage database that I'm aware of. It's not on the historic environment viewer anyway. I don't think they have any of those listed. They might change their mind on that at some point. So we can upload this. Added animal ramp and walls sources survey and bing. And upload that. That won't be rendered at all in the map, but it is recorded now. And if you were searching for it using overpass or something like that, you would find it. The other one is in Ballinakill in County Leash. Which was a huge market town, fair town, 
at one time and if you ever go usually people go, just go through Ballinakill if you're visiting Haywood Gardens for example it's not far don't ask me where exactly but it's not far anyway and you can see the grandeur that Ballinakill once had big hotels massive marketplace I've lost my bearings now here's the market square market house and there's a monument 1798 monument which I marked of course and um, there's a good chipper down here this is uh, one of the reasons to stop in Ballinac Hill is the chipper but the the animal ramp is up here somewhere it's in this triangle this is probably the old road and then they straightened it there is no mapillary, I think, unfortunately. I was hoping to get that at some point, but it's not much reason to go through Ballinac Hill. So it's here. You can see there's a bit of a path here and walls on either side. So it's just a single one, not like the one in Boris. There's kind of a triple one. So we can map that area here maybe go up down to here when I first saw it and I was looking for milk churn stands I thought maybe that's what it is but I have since come to the conclusion that it is an animal ramp so we've defined the area and then we can just add man made animal it still doesn't come up I think it takes 10 if I would add one tomorrow it would have come up as a suggestion, but it doesn't yet. Um, I don't know exactly what animals it is for. So I'm not going to add an animal tag, but I'll add the walls on either side. It's a, The structure is a little bit different. There's an opening here, if I remember correctly. Turn that off. Here, so the trailer would have been parked there. Let's just see if there is mapillary or bing even. Oh, there's Bing. So Bing Street side. It's just a little bit blurry. So you can maybe you can see that. So the ramp goes up here, and there's the opening. And there are containers now, which I should probably also add because nobody else else will. But let's just save this and I'll do that while you're not watching because you're not interested in recycling containers, I take it. Added animal ramp walls. So same as I did before. Sources, survey or local knowledge, whatever you want to call it. And is the clarity. And Bing Street Side is what it's called, I think. And then we can upload that. And that is that one mapped. What I said earlier that it wouldn't render, it will render the walls eventually, but it won't render it as an animal ramp or anything like that. So there you can see the walls now. And you can't tell that it is a ramp from just looking at that, but it is recorded now. And I like to map these kinds of obscure things because I often see things and I wonder why it is. And if it's on OpenStreetMap, at least I could click on it, if it's mapped, of course, and learn what it is. That's one of the reasons why I like to map obscure things like milk churn stands and sewer vents and stuff like that, which I have videos about if you haven't watched them yet so that's one of the reasons and it's fairly easy you know two tags really is all you need well one tag really and if you want to add walls you can of course Shinny will thank you for watching it's long before